Hello, true believers. This is your friendly neighborhood, Bevot only or B only. And what we have here is a Hassan's elegance within reach. I don't know if you could read that. And the reason why we're doing a review of this Hassan's product is because it is that time of year. It is prom time this year. Well, anyway, here in the Philippines, I think it's pretty close to also in America. And this is actually a gentleman's ac accessory. So with no further ado, let's do our unboxing and review. So if you open it up, you will see it is a tie tack, Hassan tie tack lapel pin brooch. And like I said, if you're wondering what this is for, because it is prom season in, and Hero is in junior high school here, he is going to be wearing a suit. And when I was putting together his ensemble, I noticed that ah, I think we were missing this accessory. It's just something, uh, it, and accessories are important when it comes to gentlemen wear or being a gentleman so i i wasn't going to get cufflinks or anything like that but what was important was i needed a tie tack to just kind of bring the whole outfit together now you know what you'll see here is it's actually it's in it's kind of a gunmetal color it's not really black or gray and uh, before we go on, let me just say where, where we got this from. I couldn't find it here in the Philippines, and I couldn't order it online here in the Philippines, so I had to get it from Amazon. So this is actually what it, what it looks like here. So it's a Hassan mini tie pin for, for me, and, and it's $12.99. And with shipping to the Philippines at around nine bucks. So nine plus $13, you're talking about $22 all together and it arrived about less than a week. I would say like closer to five days. So it was pretty quick So we got it right away and The reason why we should kind of focus better So the reason why we got this color is because I Wanted to, it to match with his his other metal which is his belt so if you can see over here we got this locally and it's that same gunmetal color that he's gonna be using to wear as his dress belt. So I wanted something to match also at the same time. They didn't, they had this here, but they didn't have this. It was mostly like silver or other colors or it, it, it wasn't even black, I couldn't get. So when I saw it as gunmetal to match with this, I said, oh yes, we gotta, we gotta get this, and put this together. There you go, Hassan's and let's take a look at it and let me see if i can pull it out here okay so it has your normal standard this bar over here that you what you do is you put it through your buttonhole in your shirt and then if you, you poke this through your tie and uh, I read that it's about between the third or fourth shirt. So, but it depends where you think it looks good. I don't think there's no uh, rhyme or reason where you where you want to put it. As long as you don't put it too high or too low, then it should be fine. There's a little. You can notice there's like a little blemish on it, but it's it still has still has that gunmetal appearance to it. So you put it on like so, and it's in your tie. Now, I'll probably do, you probably want to see what it looks like on the tie itself with his whole outfit, which I'm going to do later once we start getting closer to his event. So that's what it's going to look like. And so once, once he puts it together, then I'll show you what his, what his tie, what, what his tie looks like. So, but the main reason why I got it in this color is because of this. And if you're wondering what the size looks like, so let's do a size comparison. So here's actually a double A battery. 
So if you're wondering what it looks, uh, how what the size is, is that somebody, is that something, is that the size that I want? It's about, it's smaller than that. So if you take a double double A battery and you put it on your tie and if it's too small, then that's fine. But I think this is the perfect size because I didn't want it to be too obnoxious or too obvious. I just wanted there to be subtle and, uh, and to kind of, put the icing on top of his outfit. So it's like the cherry on top. So you got everything, you got the ice cream, you got the banana split, and then you got the whipped cream. So, but you need a cherry on top. So this is the cherry on top that, that was missing. So now we got it, so it's complete. So we got it pretty early. So I'm glad that we are able to have it ready for Hero's Prom. And he's he's excited about it. Everybody's excited about it. Bosses are pretty excited about it. For uh, high school prom is I know there are some people that are watching this that didn't go. I actually went to mine and I had I had fun. So it was those experiences that I could look back and say, oh, I uh, I went to my prom and I had a good time. So just like I. I had a good time, I wanted Hero to have a good time, and I wanted everything to be as perfect as possible, even it comes down to the accessories. And the, I always said it's our, the difference between, uh, between like anarchy and civilization or the, what humanity and what separates us from the animals is our ability to accessorize. So, I wanted to make sure that we had the proper accessory to match with the proper belt. So look at that. So that's pretty good. So I, when, when his outfit is together, I'll do a full review of his suit and uh, what, why I chose these colors. Okay. So if you have any questions or comments, did you go to prom? Did you have a tie tack? I actually didn't have a tie tack, but this is the first time I'm where I've actually had one. What do you think of the color? Would you get one? Let us know in the comments. But anyway, that's today's vlog. I'll see you in the next video. This is Belt Only. Thanks for watching.